Good morning, everyone. Right now, I'm heading to the original bubble tea place for some bubble tea. Oh my God. Guava tree. Back there, Ecuadorian style. A bean. Oh, maybe it's actually a bean. Guava in Ecuador is like a bean pot. It's like white and fluffy. It's kind of like cotton marshmallow. So I think I'm gonna get the original, just like regular bubble tea, vegetarian noodles. Third and egg, and that's what you get. So there's noodles, green onions, seaweed, broccoli, and I don't know what this is, but this is vegetarian, so it's not me. Mix it around. Mm, the tapioca is really good. Not too sweet, but as for like, like sugar. The noodles really good too. There's mushroom. The noodles are really chewy. It's a great combination. The bowls were amazing. It's off. It was kind of different, but it was still really good. And I would totally recommend you guys to check it out. Did you know bubble tea, supposedly? That's what they say. And there's one in Tainan that's supposed to be like the original adventure too. So, <laughs> going to Tainan next. So I'll go check it out. But I'm heading to the Rainbow Village. It's like an hour away. But I'm gonna take the bus. There's a bakery. I'm gonna go check out this bakery. There was another bakery on the other side. I missed that, but oh well. They got a manto. They basically like just bread. There's nothing really inside, but I, there's different flavors. I think this is green tea or some kind of like grass. I'm not sure. It also has red bean inside. This is how it looks. It's all right. It's a little dry. I like to just go to bakery. The smell is also really nice. It's like a hobby. It's like kind of cold because it was left out. It's not really fresh. That's why it was. It's not as good. Also, with these bread manto, you're supposed to dip it in condensed milk. It's like a combination. I don't know why, but I mean, it d still tastes good together. <laughs> That's a government office behind me. Yeah. Bus, we're here, and I need to get to here. Rainbow Village. It's supposed to be like an hour. Found the bus stop. Good job, Mary. Thank you, Mary. It was not that hard, actually. Made it. So, yeah, it's gonna be an hour and 30 ish minutes. Life goes on.
There's a giant book. Got off to Sing. I'm trying to go to the um, Museum of Natural Science here in Taichung. Then the Calligraphy Green Road. And then Yi Zhong Night Market. I don't know if the museum is still open, but we'll see. Museum of Fine Arts. This is the Woe's house, traditional Woe's. Barely made it. They close at 6. It's like 5.30ish. Go. Oh, it got dark fast. Yin Tai Post Office. They have some pretty interesting roads here. Yin Tai back there means like Pajiti Road. And then there's like Chenggong Road, which means, which means like Success Road. And then there is Ziyo Road, which means the Freedom Road. It's very poetic. I got another green tea red bean thing. It's like mochi. That's good. Night market. I feel like it's bigger actually. 
and it's actually a lot more convenient, at least to me. Today was fun. I'm leaving for Thailand tomorrow. Yay! I'm excited for all the food. I ate so much here. I'm gonna eat a lot more there. Where was this map when I needed it in the beginning? Nowhere. I didn't see it. I was blind. These glasses do nothing. Nothing, I say. But yeah, that's cool. Last night, it's about time. I'm just kidding. I like Taichung. I'm ready for Tainan though. I'm gonna call it night. Bye for watching. See you next time in Tainan. Yeah. <laughs>